Among so many hype games that have been shown so far at this year's E3 press conferences, one that stood out to me the most being the weeb trash that I am, was Jump Force from Bandai Namco, a Shonen Jump crossover team fighter. From the gameplay that we have seen, it's going to be a 3D fighter with movement and gameplay mechanics reminiscent of previous Bandai Namco games like Dragon Ball Xenoverse and the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm franchise. Following the initial reveal trailer, there were multiple interviews with Nakajima-san to talk to him about the game. One of the points that Nakajima mentioned throughout the night was that the game is bringing all of our favorite Shonen Jump heroes to our world. The two stages we saw gameplay from were Times Square New York and Switzerland, so the game will portray these characters in a more realistic environment and show how their powers interact with our world. So I expect all of the stages in this game to be based off popular real life locations and landmarks. As for gameplay mechanics, it's a 3 versus 3 team battle with only one team member from each side playable at a time, but it was confirmed that you will be able to chain air combos together by switching between characters. Nakajima was kind of dodging the question on whether or not the game will have actual assists or not. One unique feature that Nakajima mentioned was that all three of your characters share the same health bar so you won't be able to switch out characters for fodder or to heal them. And for fighting mechanics, I wouldn't expect anything spectacular or as in depth as other anime fighters like the recent Dragon Ball fighters. It will most likely be something more like Bandai Namco's other 3D fighters with more simplistic and less refined gameplay mechanics. The pace of the game looks much faster than the previous jump crossover game J-Stars, and let's hope Jump Force is nothing like that game except for its roster. So for the movement speed of characters, it's definitely again more reminiscent of Ultimate Ninja Storm and Xenoverse, so they're probably going to speed up some of the slower characters in Jump. And there definitely won't be very sluggish mechanics like we saw in J-Stars and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. And it looks like every single character is going to have their own unique animation and ability for the mechanics that were in the Xenoverse and Ultimate Ninja Storm games which were substitute and instant transmission to get yourself out of combos. But speaking of rosters, Jump Force has yet to reveal its full roster. The only characters we have seen are from Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, and Death Note. But considering Nakajima has said that this game is made for the fans and with the fans in mind, I wouldn't expect a roster much different from J-Stars. Most likely even more characters and potentially some of the newer Shonen Jump heroes. So it's safe to expect characters like Jotaro and other J-Stars Kenshiro, Yusuke, Toriko, Ichigo, Gintoki, Gon Freaks, Izuku, Midoriya, and many others. Nakajima said any character you would consider a shonen jump hero you can expect in this game. So Jump Force was a great surprise from this year's E3, and I look forward to its full release sometime in 2019. But in all honesty, I don't expect too much from this game, except for a few hours of fighting around the world with my favorite characters from Shonen Jump. Let's just hope this will be J-Stars done right, but it's still not that great 2.5D Shonen Jump fighter we all still want. But for the most part, the game looks beautiful, 3D models are more realistic and defined, and special animations look great. I'll be sure to update you guys when we see the full roster from this game, and hopefully we will get to play as some of our favorite JoJo's, and of course more when Jump Force fully releases. Thank you all for watching this quick Jump Force coverage video and enjoy the rest of your E3. Keep on spamming Skate 4 and Despacito 2 in the chat boys. Ah!